today here at Dijo we're doing some meat baiting with uh, kangaroo meat that's been supplied through a game meat uh, processing plant. In the western area we have a permit to utilise this meat, the kangaroo meat, and, and use it for the baiting purposes. So now we're just going to go ahead and poison the meat and, and um, yeah, see how we go. Um, the specifics on it is you have to get a permit, which Western have, they've gone through the APVMA. It's heavily regulated, the, the permit, so the muscle meat has to be 500 gram piece of muscle meat injected. It's twice the size of a dog bait, which is normally 250, so we, yeah, we're using a bigger, bigger piece of meat for, the, for that purpose. We've free fed them. So they, they know where to come now for a feed. They're coming there every night, they're getting free fed every night. So you're actually educating and training that pig to do what you want it to do. Now when we turn up with the bait, it's gonna be the same process. We're dropping the meat there, the pigs will come in, they'll get their free feed and they'll walk away. What we're doing is injecting this 500 gram piece of meat with 2.4 mil of concentrate. Uh, we'll inject it in, in four different locations at 0.6 per injection and that's how the poison's distributed in that piece of meat. And, and then we'll distribute the meat in a, a checkerboard pattern on the ground for the pigs to go to their own little segregated pile. Um, if you put it in one big pile, the boars will come in and not giving access to the other animals. So that's why we put it out in a checkerboard pattern so each pig can go to a, its own little pile, have its bait, and then go on. The Central West, which is only our neighbour, there's a lot of cropping. So good food and protein sources available to pigs. You probably have a lot more pigs that are on the crops and you know out, out there, whereas out in the Western areas, there's not so many crops. I mean, it's drier, it's a harsher country. The meat baiting, will play a key part out in these areas because that's essentially what they're eating. They're eating roadkill, they're eating the animals that are dead in the paddocks. They don't have access to the grain unless there's, unless the farmer or landholder is feeding grain out to his stock uh, on trails or in bins and stuff like that. They don't have access to it, but the meat baiting out here will play a key part to the Western landholders. Mm -hmm.